It's Mike Farrell, Rivals.com at the Rivals 100 Five Star Challenge presented by Under Armour. Here with newly minted five star AJ Terrell, defensive back extraordinaire. Did it excite you at all to get the fifth star? Does it matter? Do you pay attention to that stuff? I mean, not really. I mean, it's just a star. I mean, doesn't affect me. Doesn't increase my everything. See, that's what I like to hear. It's just a star. Everybody's got to. Everybody's got to understand that, right? Right. Rankings don't matter. Right. Right. So, AJ, we've talked about Auburn a lot. You've been there a ton. Uh, but let's talk about Alabama because you just took a visit there, you said, a couple days ago. What did you like about it? What did you learn? What did you see? Well, um, I went up there for a camp, but I ended up doing, like, a private camp um, with, with my DB coach. We did some drills and all that stuff. And, um, you know, I like Bama. Facilities, everything was great. Um, it was a great visit. Did you get to interact with any of the coaches, get a feel for their style, um, you know, uh, how you'd be utilized in their defense? Yeah, when we was, when, while we was training and all that stuff, I got to do the, um, practice their techniques and all that stuff and got to talk to Coach Pruitt and some of the players at Bama. Did he, re, did he uh, compare you to anybody? I mean, Bama's had a lot of great defensive backs. Did he compare you to any, any particular person? No, he didn't, he didn't compare me to um, no DBs. He just told me that. He recruits DBs that's like six foot and all that stuff. So, have you heard any comparisons recently other than mine to Jalen Ramsey? Um, no, other than when they told me I was a five star. You, yeah. all right? Because you remind me a little bit of Jalen Ramsey in high school, a tall kid who can cover. But that's that's another story. So Auburn, let's talk about Auburn. So Alabama's rival is Auburn. You've been to Auburn a ton of times. <clears throat> you know, I would imagine uh, Auburn fans. Or maybe a little nervous about the Alabama visit, but what's your relationship with Auburn? When's the last time you spoke to them? Are they still like the school to beat? You think? Um, no, Auburn's still at, still in my top six. Nothing changed. Um, no, I visited Bama and all that stuff, but nothing has changed. Still, still got a good relationship with Coach Crime Dog, Coach uh, Miles Zion, and all that stuff. Who's your top six? Give me the top six again. Uh, Bama, Auburn, Clemson, South Carolina. Florida and Georgia. Okay, so Clemson, South Carolina, Florida, Georgia. Uh, let's talk about the two South Carolina programs. Do you plan on getting there anytime soon at Clemson or South Carolina? Yeah, Clemson, I'm planning on getting there this Sunday. Okay, and what are you looking to find out about them? Because they got Mackenzie Alexander and, and, and Corday Tankersley. They got some really good cornerbacks there, and Venables, obviously, a, a well known defensive coordinator. What are you looking to learn there? Um, you know, Mackenzie's still there. No, he left, but they yeah, had Mackenzie Alexander. Right. Court, Tankersley's still there, but all right. Um, you know, I do want to go up there and see like what they have to offer because I never been up there. Um, I want to see, you know, how the how the people are, um, react around me and all this stuff, and just the players get a good connection with the coaches and all this stuff. Do you pay attention to style of play, like press or off zone? Do you pr- pay attention to defensive style? Um. Either one is good for me. I like to do both. I like to come up or play off. I could do that, all that. All right. And everybody's saying corner, right? Because your safety size. If they say safety, does that turn you off? Um, not as much as corner. Okay. So South Carolina. What What are you looking to find out when you visit there next? Um, you know, I already found out really everything with Coach T. Rob. We talk a lot, so you know, and I already know. Was he recruiting you when he was at Auburn? No. You have a previous relationship. No. Okay. And then Georgia, we mentioned last time they started to pick up your recruitment a little bit. Um, what do you like about them? And do you get any, do you feel any pressure to stay in state from people? Um, I don't feel any pressure, no. Uh, I get a lot of players that committed there already, my friends, so they tell me about Georgia, what, what we could do as a team. And if we all come together, we can win championships and all that stuff. But at the end of the day, it's still my decision, so. No, I'm just uh, going through the process. Another guy you remind me a little bit of is Jalen Tabor, and, and Florida's obviously had Vernon Hargraves and Tabor's there now. Um, you know, do you talk to them about their DB tradition, and, and how do you relate to the defensive back coach of Florida? Um, I haven't really talked to Jalen Tabor or none of them, but when I do go to Florida, they, I mean, they, we say what's up or whatever, but um, I've only been to Florida once. And, um, you know, Florida still, that, that's my dream school. Since I was little, but um, you know, I'm gonna still take the process slow. Are you gonna take official visits? Yeah, I'm gonna take some officials, but I haven't set any up. Do you know a couple schools you're definitely gonna visit? Um, no, I'm not even sure yet. Any schools I haven't mentioned outside your top six that have a chance at an official visit, like a West Coast school or something? Yeah, definitely USC. Everybody takes a USC visit, huh? You just want to see how it is out there. Yeah.
Yeah, yeah Kevin. You could fall in love. You never know. I know. I mean, it's supposed to be really nice out there. So we'll see. AJ is still playing it slow. So you want to wait till like signing day? No, I'm gonna wait till my birthday, September 23rd. All right. So mid season, this will be interesting. So you got to get some visits in. You got to do your homework and figure things out. No leader right now. No leader. Even though everybody says Auburn, no leader. No leader. <laughs> All right, AJ Terrell. Thanks very much.